This is how you place a catheter. So once you have your dog and it's pre-medded, you're going to gather all the supplies you need. You have your tape. You have your catheter open and loosened. You're going to open your cap. You have a flush, scrub, and alcohol, and clippers. Our assistant Madison here, this is a very important job, is the restrainer. She has a nice arm around the dog's neck, and she's extending the elbow for me. The restrainer's job is very important. Okay, so when you start the wrist, you're going to bend the wrist as a good starting point. You're going to get your clippers, and you're going to start to shave as small of a window as you can. Nice and gently with the clippers. You're going to shave all the way around the leg. Okay, now you're ready to scrub. I'm going to start with one scrub, get all the excess hair off. And Madison's going to hold off for me. She's going to roll her thumb over the dog's vein. And I'm going to start scrubbing the area I'm going to poke, being sure not to touch the hair around it. We do three scrubs. And then we'll do alcohol in the same way. I always start at the top, wipe down, making sure not to touch the hair above the shaved area. And now you're ready to place. You're going to grab your catheter, take it out of the plastic. I already loosened it. We're going to start down as low on the vein as we possibly can. Start at a 45 degree angle, and you're going to insert into the skin. Once you have a flash in your hub, you're going to advance a little bit more. And then you're going to advance your catheter off of the stylet. Madison's going to let go of the vein. You're going to Put your thumb over the catheter and place your cap. It's okay, Rosie. Now you have your catheter placed. You want to keep your thumb on the cap. You're going to grab your first piece of tape, which is going to be a skinny piece. You're going to place your tape sticky side up under the catheter. You're going to fold it to one side, stick it to itself, and then tape it around the catheter, making sure to always tab your tape on each piece. It's okay, Rosie. I'm going to tighten my cap after every piece of tape just to be sure it's on. Your next piece of tape is the thicker piece with a notch in it. Again, you want to make sure your tape is tabbed. You're going to put the notch sticky side down under your catheter. Again, taping around the catheter. Your third piece of tape is another skinny piece. You're going to place it, it's okay, Rosie, sticky side up under the cap about halfway through the piece of tape, folding it over each side. It's okay, Rosie. You're okay. And then your last piece is going to be a thick piece of tape, and it's just going to kind of go over all the rest of the tape. Now you're ready to flush to make sure your catheter is in. You're going to grab your flush, put it in your cap, Draw back a little bit to make sure you get blood. Madison's going to put her thumb over the vein, and I'm going to pulse the flush into the vein. Make sure it's in. She'll confirm. I can confirm. And your last piece is going to piece, be a piece of vet wrap. You'll rip a notch in it. Again, it will go underneath your catheter and wrap it around. Give it a good squeeze, and you're done.